Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'll be doing a comparison of the original Dalgona 16, which I'm wearing right now, an iced lavender latte with the brand new hand tied Dalgona 16. We're going to take a look what is the same and what's different. I purchased both my wigs at Wig Studio One when actually when they were first released. This one is is i think it, it's pretty soon it's going to uh need some tlc because i've worn it lots since it was first released delgona 16 is one of my favorites in the bell trust line it's one that i wear often and i love ice lavender latte so i was very excited to see delgona as soon as they made the announcement on our private facebook group wig studio one wig and topper support group that we could pre-order Delgona 16 hand tied right away. I went ahead and I ordered it. And I also want to thank so many of you that joined us on our uh, live for Steals and Deals on Thursday the 21st that Eileen the Crazy Wig Lady and I put together. We had so much fun. So if you joined us, thank you so much. I did see the comments and saw many names that I recognized. All right, let's take a look at well, let me tell you a little bit about Delgona. I do have reviews both on the Ice Lavender Latte as well as Delgona. I believe I reviewed it in when it was first released in Brown Sugar Sweet Cream, which is really what I wanted to wear today, but I am doing some moving around with my office here and I have a lot of my wigs packed up already as you can see I don't have too much back here as I usually do but my new one isn't also in brown sugar sweet cream so I wanted to show you but you know I wanted to get the video out and I have a lot of boxes to go through in order for me to do that I do have a review and unboxing on the regular Delgona 16 and brown sugar sweet cream as well as an ice lavender latte. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to take a look at what's the same and what's different in the and the with these caps is basically what's different. I looked at the I compared the lengths on them. They both have the sides of 10 to 14 inches. The nape on both is eight and a half inches. The back is 16 inches on both. And the overall is eight and a half to 16 inches on both. Here is the difference. Unlike Caliente, where the hand tied weighed more than the regular cap, with Delgona 16, the regular cap weighs four, um, I'm sorry, uh, weighs 5.1 ounce and the hand tied weighs 4.8 ounces. So there is a little bit of a variance in the weight just right off the bat. Let me show you the regular on all sides and then I'll do side by sides. Please bear in mind when I show you the side by sides that the, the this Dalgona 16 is at, I wanna say it's at a year old and if not a little bit older and it has been worn a lot. It has been washed a, a few times. So just bear that in mind that there's some, that's something else that is going to cause them to look a little bit differently. I am so excited. I have four, well, this is my fifth Delgona. These are wigs that I keep in my private collection because I love this wig. This is my third hand tied from Beltress, I think. It is absolutely just gorgeous. Just, they, they do s such a beautiful job with the hand tie. This one doesn't seem to have as many waves as my original. I mean, just like right off the bat. And that's okay because I could just spritz it with some water, crunch it up, or use some of the hair you wear curl. I could bring some of that curl back. And also since these are heat friendly fibers, I could use a curling iron and add uh, some more waves if that's what I want to do. But right out of the box, this Delgona does not seem to have as many waves as my original. 
All of the hand tied and the bell truss line are all the same. We have the lace front that is ear to ear. There is no band separating the lace front and the full monofilament top. It is all one piece. We have the polyurethane at the ear tabs and there are stays. So you could use an, a, some kind of an adhesive on the polyurethane, whether it's the, it's the wig tape or you want to use something like it stays. You can certainly use it. If you are like me that you don't use adhesives, that's okay because there are stays in the metal stays in the ear tabs. This seems like a semi extended nape. It's not, it's not a true extended nape, but it, it appears to be a little bit wider than some of the non extended nape. And we have pull type adjusters on our hand tied. Obviously we have a hand tied cap. I know I will be keeping this even though the waves and everything else, I'm still going to keep it. I'll leave the links to my reviews if, uh, for my Delgonas listed down below. And that way, if you want to see it for the styling or you want to see the color outside, you can check out one of those. I just really wanted to do the comparison here for you. Plus it's really a nasty day out today in central Florida. So I am going to give it a shake. The fibers are exactly the same. You're going to get the same silky, fine, wispy fibers that you find on all of the bell tress. There's nothing dry about this. Really nice, natural feeling fibers. This is a hand tied. There is no permatease. There was no permatease on the regular cap either. Bell tress has really cornered the market, I think, being able to provide a little bit of lift made just with the fibers where the permatease is not necessary. However, if you like a nice big bump right here, you're not going to find it in Beltras, especially with their hand tides. As far as the density, I think it's just average, pure average density. It's going to uh, appear a little bit more due to the waves that we have here. We have real nice textured, breezy, um, breezy, <laughs> a really nice textured wavy curls. The fit is, I would say it's the same as my regular. I don't feel it any smaller. And I think you saw that I'm wearing a wig grip. I didn't have to cinch it in. If I weren't wearing the wig grip, with my 21 and a half inch circumference, I probably would have had to cinch it in a bit because there's that wig grip is always going to create a little bit, not by much, but a little bit um, more. It's going to take up a little bit more space. So the wig, if you find a wig that is a little snug on you and you're wearing a wig grip, try it without the wig grip and use maybe some wig tape or some adhesive instead. All right, let's take a look at these wig caps side by side so you can see for yourself the differences between them. The first difference that we are going to find is going to be with the lace front where our original, we have a temple to temple lace front on our new hand tied, it's ear to ear lace front. For our hand tied, we have a full monofilament top and on our original, we have a left part. On the original, we have felt covered ear tab that are a little bit bigger than the ear tabs that we find on the hand tied. Also, the hand tied has the polyurethane, a little smaller, but they both have stays. The original has an extended nape and pull type adjusters. 
I don't think the, I, this is not on the hentai, that's not an extended nape. But I, I don't think it's a non-extended nape. It's just a little bit, it's right in between a non-extended nape and an extended nape. On the original, we have weft or machine made on the sides and the back and our hand tie. There is a little bit more stretch, not by much, on the original, on the machine made, than we find on the hand tie. Let's take a look at the lace front on the hand tie. Beautiful lace front. Undetectable. Beautifully, beautifully done. Comes all the way down to the ear tab. That is my bio hair. If you don't have a low hairline as I do, this will be perfect to pull back if that's something that you want to do. This is, as I mentioned, brown sugar sweet cream. We have a dark, a medium, and a light brown with pale blonde highlights and a dark root. We have the light fibers on the front. As far as the coverage, excellent coverage on the hand tied cap. Here is the ear tab and here is my hairline. Now, the question is, how, how do we choose? Do we choose the regular cap or do we choose the hand tied? What is going to help here? The first thing is going to be budget. The hand tied will always be more expensive. It requires more manpower in order to create these hand tied caps. So if budget is not an issue, then do you like a right side part? And I've seen lots of wearers say, I could only part my wig on the right. I can't wear a wig parted on the left. Then you'd probably want to go with the hand tie because with the full monofilament top, you can part it any in any way you want. If you are, if you have a sensitive scalp, if you have hair loss, and you, you anything right by or you're go, you are going through chemo and that sen, you have that sensitivity, then the hand tied will probably be a better option for you because the material on it is very soft. And, uh, and you also have the polyurethane where you could add that adhesive in order to secure the wig. Those, uh, as far as the measurements, as you saw, they're exactly the same. The weight, there's only a difference by just you know, half an ounce, if that, between the hand tied and the, and the machine made cap you're going to have a lighter, a bit of a lighter density on the hand tied. And then we just have to take a look at our preference. Do we prefer a hand tied cap? I, one question that is always asked, which one is cooler? I, I live in Florida. I, I know that some wearers say that a machine made is cooler. And I know some wearers that say that the hand tied cap is cooler. I think it all depends on our tolerance to heat how sensitive we are to eat to heat we live and i live in florida and i it's hot here most of the year and when with a very high humidity i don't have a preference with one or the other but i don't have i am not sensitive to heat i wear long sleeves most of the time i wear my longer wigs my shorter wigs hand tied machine made so it really is up to you with Delgona 16 you can certainly um, bring it up something that I usually do when with my long wigs if I'm going somewhere so the fibers aren't rubbing I'll just have a claw clip with me and I'll just claw clip it while I'm in the car so it's not rubbing against the seat and then when I get where I'm going then I just let it loose and fluff it up and I'm ready to go. 
Let me know if you have a preference with the hand tied or the regular cap. I would love to hear from you. And if you have a preference, if you can say why you have that preference, I'm sure it's going to help many of the other viewers. Tomorrow I'll be showing you a brand new color from Beltrass that was just released, so stay tuned for that. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time or tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.